The sun regulates the ebb and flow of natural systems. We have worshipped its presence since time immemorial. The sun is central to human well-being. People spend the majority of their time inside of buildings, but could it be possible to take advantage of sunlight and capture its beauty indoors? Limits, degradation, and breakdown. We need to change our track. When it comes to the impact of light on people, it's very interesting. Uh, most people will talk about situations where lighting has a big impact on how they feel. In surveys, when people are assessed about their level of satisfaction with their workspace, people were happier in well-lit buildings. We need to design for the occupant. Being exposed to daylight is important for um, biochemical processes that happen in the body on a regular basis. If we enhance the natural biochemical processes, we enhance the health and well-being of occupants in the building. And how sad it is that we're now at the point where most workers in, the, in their work environment on a sunny day are working under electric light. Bringing sunlight into buildings is something we want to do. And also, it's something we have been doing forever in architectural design. In fact, really, daylighting of buildings uh, was the norm until electric light became cheap enough that it became cheaper to have fewer windows and to have larger building areas and just basically have electrically lit interiors. Integrating atriums, windows, and diffusers into a building design allows sunlight into the interior but at times this uncontrolled sunlight can create problems. So it becomes very tricky because it's a little bit is a good thing, a lot might be too much. And that is what we have to be able to control, to quantitate, and that's the challenge and the research of being able to design new systems that will allow daylighting into the interior of buildings and still be at a comfortable level. The access to natural light is off to the side. Now, if that light shines in, it actually causes a lot of glare. It gets in your eyes and it's actually quite unpleasant in many cases. And it doesn't actually illuminate the surfaces that you're wanting to work on. So we had a brainstorming session and tried to find a way of, of overcoming this difficulty. A team of physicists at the University of British Columbia has developed a technology called the Core Sunlight System to solve this problem. When I was a kid, I was, when I was sitting in a, in a classroom, I really enjoyed playing with light. When I was sitting beside the window, what I used to do at that time was playing with my watch, like this, to reflect sunlight toward my teacher's face, but in a very sneaky way that the teacher doesn't notice that I'm doing it purposely. The core sunlight system was inspired by the concept of tracking the sun across the sky and manipulating the light to shine where it is needed. We get that light from outside the building and transfer it to the core of the building that we basically cannot have access to daylight. If you're indoors and the sun comes out from behind a cloud and is suddenly there, you would feel it. You would feel the room lighten. You know, the sun has become available. And toward the end of the day, in the beginning of the day, and the end of the day, the color of the light and the intensity of the light would be shifting just like it is outdoors. So you have a sense of time of day as well. And yet it never gets dark, and the electric light makes sure that's the case. The system is comprised of four components. The sunbeamer, the sun's shade, the sun spandrel, and the sun luminaire. The sunbeamer is really the core of the technology. It's a device that tracks the sun completely autonomously. The light that comes from the sunbeamer itself is then projected down onto a sunshade, which captures that light and begins to concentrate it. From the sunshade, the light is redirected into the sun spandrel, which further concentrates the light and then emits it into the sun luminaire. Technologies like the core sunlight system began with a basic idea, which was developed and refined through collaboration between academia and industry. Designing a building that captures the beauty of sunlight indoors is possible. 
By channeling our inspirations into collective action, we can improve how we live and work inside of our buildings. The way I felt emotionally responding to lights was similar to the way other people felt. Uh, I found that really exciting to think that this is one of the many things that unites people is the depth of, of caring that we have about light and color. I love sunshine and I love light. So maybe, I don't know, something from my childhood bring me here. There was a reason that our ancestors worshipped the sun, literally, as a deity. And I think that if we give a little bit of that back to the sun, it wouldn't be a bad idea.